Echo Fighter. Yeah, Echo, Echo, Echo Fighter. Nothing yeah. JV about him. He's a quality commentator really coming up the ranks. Yeah. But they're not here to definitely talk about their boy Tree. Right. But Tree will still nonetheless represent Senkai with pride. Before we get there, IE Pride on the line. Toski versus Luna. Yeah, it's Snake versus Cloud. Man, the battle, the battle of Konami versus Square Enix, man. Something you would have never imagined down the line. I mean, if I saw it in Brawl, I would have been like, Snake's in Brawl, that's awesome. But if you would have told me Cloud would have been in Smash, I would have told you you're a crazy madman. But here he is nonetheless, and, you know, it's going to probably be that traditional matchup. Uh, as soon as uh, Cloud can get Snake in the disadvantage situation, that's where a lot of that mileage is going to take place. But he's got to get him there first. And, of course, Toss is going to be setting up all day. Grenades, Oh, no follow-up. And he's got limit online. He's got to use it at some point soon. He's got the recovery. He's probably going to throw it out. Oh, nice. Able to still recover. And picks up with the very, like, if there were a sour spot on that move, he probably hit it. Because <laughs> that was, like, so close to him in terms of hitboxes. And it's lucky enough for Tosca that Snake is now a heavyweight in this game, too, so he's able to survive that one. Oh, uh, Snake has been a heavyweight for, like, all oh, time. Oh, and Brawl, right? Yeah, yeah okay. he's, like, the third heaviest character in the game, like, for no reason whatsoever, of course. <laughs> Wasn't the third biggest character. Good down air covering the ledge. Toski trying to air dodge back. But there are some frames of vulnerability in that situation. You can't just uh, auto snap to the ledge. So he's going to have to burn his limit. It's oh, I, do, I like that setup. He it was so close to getting the C4, but unfortunately didn't catch him in the landing right in time. Up tilt. That's going to be the, the stock yeah. here. All Toski. baseball coming out for Snake. Yeah, BMC in the crowd. Probably cheering on his boy Toski as well. Another Snake lean here from SoCal. Big damage coming out from Toski. Oh, I misreads his grenade. I don't know if he knew he grabbed it. I saw the shield flash, but he dropped it. Maybe as if thinking, oh, maybe I didn't grab it. Limits back online now, and he's got sinking disadvantage. This is uh, what you want to see coming out if you're a Luna fan. Yeah, there it is. Cross flash, and that'll do it. Toski, he has Cloud here, that percent. That might be kill percent if you get the right read here. But unfortunately, Luna, the Cloud will take it first. That's the limit. Okay, both of them getting hit. Kind of a bait. Forward tilts on shield. Yeah, if you have a grenade, you don't want to be hitting the snake shield. There's no, there's no reason whatsoever. Can you imagine a character that can attack while shields up? <laughs> that's well, it's right here. All <laughs> right. Oh, he went for the roll. I would have loved to him see him get more a little bit spacing here to understand that Luna might be coming in with an aerial. Yeah, so much damage coming out, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, he comboed off his own grenade. He comboed off there, man. Toski needs to kind of hold back a little bit. I feel like he has the mousetrap plays in play, but unfortunately, Luna's not giving him the opportunity. He kind of has to hold back a little bit. Approaching, only got hit by the back air. Luna looking to get this mark here with the cross up with an invincibility from the ledge, saving the day. Yeah, surprised he's able to sneak through that. I would have thought that the side special would have hit, you know, one of the vulnerable frames. <laughs> Yeah. That grenade looking a little sneaky there, able to clip out Luna. Just in the last second with those back airs, going to be able to clip out Toski. Game one going to Luna. Luna had it so close. Yeah, Sorry, Toski had it so close. Luna trying to put the equalizer in the matchup, as we were saying, with the stakes on the line. Uh, Luna's already dropped the set in his pool, so he's got to win from here on out if he wants to secure for sure that he's going to be coming into the you know, making it into the bracket. Yeah, and for Toski, right, he has so far pretty much, what would you say, like a 4 0 3 -0? Yeah, he's won everything, but did drop one game early on, so, you know, he wants to keep sticking Those, to the plan. And see, that's the thing that really hurts you the most, right? You could be winning all your matches, but the problem is you just dropped that one yeah, dropped game. one game for tiebreakers, yeah. yeah so a lot on the line, most. nobody nobody counting any matches for uh, taking it for granted. So. And, it, and that's where it hurts. That's the thing about Arcane's what makes it so scary, right? You think pools would be better, but I think, honestly, round robins get really scary towards that's it. That's that phrase, at in Arcadia Ego, people are saying, the Arcadians for the uh, mid-level player to shine, but you know, bracket death comes for us all eventually. And <laughs> even in Arcadia, there is bracket death for everybody, except for the winner, right? Mm -hmm. All right, Toski going to Pokemon Trainer here. I do know that Toski loves the Pokemon series. He actually rocks the Grotto plushie. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, uh, I guess he did get beat pretty, you know, pretty convincingly in oh, that snake matchup. But I almost would have said, you know, just kind of makes him an adaptation to throw, you know. Yeah. Instead of Change of characters, too, will definitely help. That's kind of one of those things you have as Pokemon trainer. You're able to change into a variety of toolkits, uh -huh. such as, you know, Squirtle, Lavisaur, and Charizard. Charizard, which I consider Monado Arts in the flesh. I have a sort of kind of like the head player of the game. Yeah, it gets, oh, wow, forward smash, clearing out so much range, sneaking Down underneath there? the board. Oh, yeah. He kind of pulled the reel a little bit too early. Yeah, I got a little bit scared, and uh, but the back throw will eat him right there. There we go. 
Toski, you know, proving me wrong, saying Pokemon Trainer might be the right pick. Yeah, Pokemon Trainer, I mean, we are seeing Pokemon Trainer on the rise over there at Low Tier City 7, if you guys would definitely want to style up on that multi-twitch. Check out how things are doing. Four yeah. tilt, nice. Slightly going for him, but unfortunately that's not that possible. Shield in the back, air oh, so that's an unfortunate uh, DI, uh -huh. too. Mm -hmm. So Toski right back into an even matchup. Good presence of mind from Luna to just really keep the pressure on and steal a kill at the back air. Especially with that mid percent, that was not high percent at all. Yeah. And Charizard in a little trouble trying to recover. You saw the down air being scouted out. Power Toski, man, making the switch as soon as possible is definitely one of the things you want to be doing here. Riding it out as Charizard may not be as best as possible. Uh, he's playing ride or die. He's playing head to head, just boxing him out. Hasn't mm -hmm. switched yet because he's already past the point where Squirtle's going to matter. Yeah, he is. So, yeah, you know, it's an Ivysaur really... range at this point. That's why I tell people sometimes Pokemon Trainer is honestly just Ivysaur and friends, right? You have Squirtle who makes the appearance and does the damage. Ivysaur carries the pack, and then Charizard, the real talk, is just there for fan service. Or recovery. Yeah, or recovery. <laughs> I mean, I feel like more fan service, man. You can't have Pokemon without Charizard. Oh, I thought he was going to land with a back air in that situation with the lift <laughs> limit. It would have been a great opportunity, but unfortunately, Toski did not go for it, and the spike hitbox from the down air and to seal it up. Yeah, you know, we were saying he might want to switch off Charizard at some point soon, just gambling with house money, but sometimes the house comes to collect. And the house being Luna and that down air sealed the stock. And yeah, and Luna's you come out right broke. There. Uh, good up, good mm -hmm. confirm though. Gets the vine whip, battles right back into it. Yeah, I think he's gonna ride or die uh, Ivysaur from here on out. Not even bother with the Squirtle. I feel like the Squirtle might be a solid play, oh, but fortunately, no. when he went for the tether recovery, he kind of got caught in that small little movement upwards right. that moved him into the spike hitbox of the downer, and that was all she wrote. When, like I said, it lucks when the house comes to collect, they make sure you leave broke.